my previous video, I mentioned our Amazon store and how it was available to everyone. And so this video is going to be primarily the top 10 items that we use often that are on my Amazon store. So I'm going to go through 10 of them, but there's many, many, many others on my store. So go ahead and check them out. We have lots of different categories for you. So all you have to do is go to the store, click on whatever category interests you, and a few items will come up in each category. Not a ton, because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. But again, these are all items that are in my house. They're not something that I'm promoting that I don't have. And these are all of Brinley's favorites. And just keep in mind that this Amazon store, we do get a very small commission. So by clicking our link and shopping and purchasing from our store, we do earn a small commission. The first product I recommend is this Count and Match Egg Set. This is one of Brinley's all-time favorite for at least the last couple of months. This is all she will do. If you keep putting the eggs back together for her, she would do this all day. Um, as you can see, she's opening them up and she will not move on to the next egg until you tell her what color it is. So it's great for babies to learn their colors. They also have this egg set with shapes so that the kids can match the shapes. Um, I put that on my list as well. Brinley, I would say in the last couple of weeks, has started to put the eggs together. Um, not all of them, but some of them. So as you can see, she's going to pull it apart and put it back together. And sometimes she gets frustrated, but we just tell the, we say the word help and she'll give it to us and we will help her. The second product I would recommend is the Fisher Price Little People Disney Castle. This was gifted to Brinley by her cousins and she started playing with it at the age of 10 months and she was obsessed for it for a while. And as she got older, she played with it a little less, but she still does play with it. She loves the people and she likes to look at them and analyze them, their hair, their eyes, their nose. Um, the Disney castle also sings. So like where you see the little mermaid, if you press down, they talk and they sing. If you open and close the, the doors, they make music. Um, there's some other features on there that are good for her. And there's these two flags at the top that because she's obsessed with flags, she likes to take them on and off. But overall, she loves this item. The third item is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse plush dolls. Brinley is obsessed with Mickey and Minnie in general. So to have these dolls, she pretty much carries them anywhere she goes. They're kind of like a comfort for her. Um, she loves giving them hugs, which is, that's her way of hugging them. She'll give them to me so that I can hug them. She's also very into facial features. So she likes to point out Mickey's ears and eyes and nose and hold on to his arms and she just loves them. She also has the set, the Mickey Mouse character set. So she likes to play the game where you ask her, where's Goofy, where's Donald Duck? And she'll bring them to you. She knows all of the characters. And I would say that her favorite is probably Daisy or Donald Duck. Also, she, I feel like on a fussy day, which, oh, that's her way of hugging, by the way. On a fussy day, like right now, she finds comfort in them. So it's just good to have, you know, these little plush dolls that aren't so big that just kind of, oh, see, there she goes. She loves giving hugs. I just feel like she finds comfort in them, especially on a fussy day like today. If you have a toddler that is a busybody, just like Brinley, the VTech Sit to Stand Learning Walker is perfect for your child. Brinley has been using this, I would say, at 11 or 12 months, and she has used it regularly since. She loves being chased, which is what we're doing now. She loves being chased, and she will literally just do laps and laps around the house until she's done, which is what she's doing now. We're not even chasing her. She just goes with the flow and goes around and around and around until she's done. Um, also on the front of it, so when she kind of gets tired, she'll sit and she'll play with the front of it, which has music and lights and lots of other features that she can play with. So I would say if your baby's at the sitting stage, they could at least play with that. Because I know for a fact when she was around the six month age and she was sitting, we took the front off and we just had it on the floor and she played with that for a while. And when she started walking, we put it back onto the walker and now she uses both. 
It's got settings um, on the wheel, so it can go slow or fast. Right now it's on the, the faster mode. My recommendation is if you are at a garage sale and you see one of these, maybe for $5, I would purchase it and use it for outside. We have something similar to this outside and Brinley uses it just as much. So this is a great toy that Brinley has used quite often. If you have a toddler who loves reading books like Brinley does, you have to check out our store and see all of Brinley's favorite books. This is one of them. This is I Wish You More. She will look through this book for as long as I let her. She loves to point to all the things that she knows, like she was just pointing to a bird and the little boy's belly button. She loves flipping through pages and just looking at all the pictures. She's absolutely obsessed with books. The second book is The Best Mouse Cookie. She specifically likes it when I read this book. We could probably read this book 10 times in a row and it wouldn't even phase her. She enjoys it so much. She just... She could look through books all day long if I if I let her. Um, and the third book that she's going to read is You're My Little Cuddle Bug. And that one she actually likes when Dada reads to her. And that one's a really cool one that she likes to look through and look at the pictures. So go ahead and check out our books. The sixth item that I would recommend is this water table. Brinley received it for her first birthday. Her birthday's in May, so she pretty much used it every single day that was nice, numerous times a day. She absolutely loves playing with this water table. She loves water in general, so why not get her water table? This has a lot of cool features on it. It has, if you pour the water at the very top, it kind of looks like it's raining. Um, it comes with a pretty decent sized purple bucket that you can use to pour the water from the on the top to the bottom. She personally likes to stick her face in it and get wet, so that's kind of funny. And then on the side to the left there, there's another little spout that if you pour water in, it kind of trickles down. It comes with a lot of toys, a lot more toys than I had thought. So lots of things for her to do with this water table alone. I think with winter coming, I'm actually going to put this water table in our basement and fill it up just a little bit. That way she can still play with it because she loves it so much. Brinley loves the outdoors, so getting this toddler push car was a no-brainer. I know it's a common item to have for a family who has kids, and I can see why. She got this for her first birthday as well and loves it, loves taking rides in it. Now that she's more mobile, she <laughs> prefers to push it, to be honest, which is fine, like get her energy out. But overall, this is a very convenient way to get her around. We have a pond nearby, and we like to just take this instead of taking the entire stroller and pushing her so that she can go see the ducks and frogs and all the other stuff that's over there. The eighth product that is my personal favorite is the Diaper Decor Plus. I have two of them, one upstairs, one downstairs. The one downstairs I tend to use more often, and that one I have to change out about every week. And... What's nice about this diaper pail, which is I've done so much research before having Brinley, was that it holds in the smell. It does not overtake the entire room with the smell. The only time you really smell anything is when you open it up to put a new diaper in. That was really big for me, and so I will not get another diaper pail because of that. It was also nice that they have three different options as far as sizes go. They have Plus, Classic, and Mini. I have the Plus, I'm changing her diaper quite often, so that just made sense to me. If you have the Plus, you are given options as far as colors. However, if you order the Classic, you're given two options for colors, and many you're kind of stuck with the gray and white color, which isn't bad anyways. But I love this diaper decor. I would not get anything else beside it, and I would highly, highly recommend it. The ninth product in our store is the Marpac Sound Machine. It has 16 sounds that you can choose from, which was nice to have because when Brinley was first born, we struggled with finding a sound that she enjoyed and would sleep well with, and so it took us a while to try every single one to see which one she adapted to well, and so we finally realized that she likes the dome too, which is like a white noise, so to this day, that is the only thing that we leave on. I liked this sound machine because I didn't want anything that was busy. I'm very simple. So I just wanted the sound machine itself, one button to turn on, one button to turn off. I did not want a nightlight or anything like that because she has a nightlight of her own that's plugged into the wall. So this just made sense. It's very lightweight. It's small. So if we ever needed to take it to a grandparent's house, we just unplug it, take the sound machine with us, 
and be done with that. So I'm very happy with this sound machine. I know Ryan has personally used it for himself and I would not mind getting a second one for possible baby number two. The last product that I would recommend is the Moonlight Slumber Little Dreamer Crib Mattress. Before Brinley was born, while I was pregnant, I did a lot of research on this product as well as far as what kind of mattress would be best for her and I came across this specific one. It had great reviews and it was also a two-in-one, meaning that the one side is firm for babies, which is what she's using right now, and then when she turns around two years old or so, I'm going to flip the mattress over and that's more of a plush, softer side for toddlers. So I like that I could get multiple uses out of it and then when the time comes, I could get her a new mattress or I could also choose the same brand of mattress but get a different size. This also, the Little Dreamer offers a twin size mattress, a full size. Um, if you have a smaller crib, they offer the mini mattress for that. So you kind of got a variety of options. So this was a no brainer for me when I read the reviews and read the details of the product. And thus far, Brinley has loved the mattress and we've had no issues with it. When I change her sheets, which I change her sheets at least once or twice a week, I feel like it's a lightweight mattress. I don't know any different, but it's not a struggle to get it in and out and change the sheets. So overall, it's a win-win for me. I hope that gave you a better insight to what our store looks like. Go ahead and click the link in the description below and that'll take you straight to our store. Go ahead and browse and see if anything interests you. And thank you so much for supporting our channel.